Hi there, and we're back with Eleonore for a second report. And this time we're going to concentrate really on feminine watches. What were, uh, in your point of view, the, the, the highlights uh, that you appreciate here at this, uh, this Basel World 2018? And if, uh, even more than that, if I may say, the feminine timepieces that you can actually wear on a daily basis that you that they those pieces don't need to come out of the safe just once in a while yeah okay, yeah because before we talked about some kind of high-end high, high jewelry and like we'll, dozens yeah, of carrots yeah, yeah, on your wrist yeah. so let's be a bit more reasonable right now so okay if i may start for the most re reasonable and pieces that i would actually wear with a pair of jeans and, and a shirt would be with Chanel. Um, they've been doing a really good thing in terms of daily time pieces that are not only uh, light, but very comfortable to wear. The Cut Coco that they first introduced last July, they came up with a new version in black ceramic, just paved with a line of diamond around the bezel, if I may say. But as it's con constructed around the, the buckle of their famous and iconic 255 purse, you feel like you're wearing some sort of fashion um, as a bling to Gabrielle. And also, if I may add, um, on the Chanel side, the boyfriend has been a hit for several years now. And once you have it on your wrist, where they beige tone of gold, um, I'm lost with my, without my boyfriend. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? So, another choice of yours. The second choice would go again to Hublot um, with their vel velvet collection. They've actually just released a new version in green, which is and has been a collaboration now with Italian independent and La Poel Can, who's been designing most of those pieces. And the best part is that it comes with a pair of sunglasses matching the bracelet. And those are the ones you want to keep on your head. 24-7. Okay, so you see those are the kind of little details that maybe I wouldn't quite catch immediately. Especially with the eyes that make like the, the Betty Boop look. <laughs> All right, another timepiece that you appreciate. Um, on a more um, intimate and towards in, um, independent watchmakers, I want to say that Romain Gauthier has proved that most of his line are more obviously dedicated for men. But their um, prestige line is very classic, yet uh, very subtle. You can find a, a guilloche dial with a matte gold counter where you can actually read the time. And just on the bezel, you can see a few, I mean, a few, a line of baguette diamonds, which makes it even more feminine to the classic piece that you may think it, it would be on the first glance. All right, yeah, Romain Gauthier, we like a lot. All right, another timepiece? Um, the last timepiece I think I want to talk about is Coram. Um, Coram, again, has been known for many years for their big chunky watches like the bubble that you have seen for many years. But the Golden Bridge with their iconic linear movement, they just released last year the round version of the Golden Bridge. And this year they've introduced the round version with diamonds in it and you feel like you have flowers like the petals were just opening with Marquis diamond set which is the big trend in jewelry right now and you can still see some sort of sort of space in the dial to read the time very easily all right well thank you very much Eleonore and now you understand why I'm, I think uh, this collaboration will be really more fruitful because for me talking about ladies watches and diamonds and stones and setting and yeah. all these things okay so when we'll keep you posted with many more reports go, uh, going your way uh, talking about this other dimension of watchmaking because we love the entire thing so thanks for your time see you real soon